Hi everyone, I hope your day is going well. My name is Lena and I'll be running through this demo to help you understand how Test Architect works with Oracle EBS. We'll show you how Test Architect automates a test in the Oracle EBS application in order to add a new user, define the responsibilities, and also their concurrent programs. Let's have a very quick overview about Test Architect support for Oracle application testing. Test Architect comprehensively supports Oracle application testing. It is one of the few tools on the market that has native support for Oracle Forms. Test Architect can recognize Oracle Forms, GUI objects, and Java objects, which makes automation faster and much more reliable. It employs action-based testing to help you design and automate tests all in one step. 400 built-in actions work out of the box to help you quickly build end-to-end -end tests at GUI, API, and database levels without programming. Business testers or even business analysts and subject domain experts can write automated tests with Test Architect. Action-based test reports, which are very easy to read, and the dashboard server provides runtime test metrics. And there are many other features built based on the input of actual practitioners about what they need to be successful in test automation, including data-driven testing and image-based testing, et cetera. First, let's start by showing you how Test Architect runs an automated Oracle EBS test case. The automation execution brings up a browser instance. Now, browse to your Oracle EBS server, log in with your credentials, and select System Administrator. Then find Monitor Application Users in Form Functions. In the Dialog Users, you'll input values for necessary fields, search for Application Developer in the Form Responsibility, and input values for required fields in the Form Concurrent Programs. Now, verify whether the user and his role have been created successfully with the input data recorded correctly. Once the execution is complete, the test result is created. We can see in detail, line by line, the test action by text log and visual log. The runtime values are verified against the expected values and report passed or failed in the text result. Screenshots of the application under test and each test step are also captured to show what has been performed at the execution time. Therefore, it is tremendously helpful for automation troubleshooting or audit needs. Let's move on to Oracle EBS creation on Test Architect. To let Test Architect know about Oracle EBS application, we will capture the interface of its windows and controls by creating a new interface definition with the title Add User. Bring up the interface viewer, select the hand icon on the tool of the interface viewer and move the mouse to control username on the form user to capture the control. Interface viewer will scan and show all the properties of this control in the middle panels. TA properties and native properties. Test Architect will suggest a property to use to distinguish the being captured control with the rest, but we can select any properties in both tabs T8 properties and native properties. We can also change the default name of this control to any logical name that we want to give it. Repeat the same process for all controls on the window that we want Test Architect to interact with and click the Save button. The map controls are recorded in the interface definition Add User with their given logical names and properties to distinguish them from others. We check in the just created interface definition to Test Architect database. After creating interface mapping, we move on to creating a user defined action. Add new user. To create a user definition action, we right click on the three node actions and select context menu new action. Input name of the action into the text box and arguments into the argument list and click Create. The action definition, Add New User, is created with the defined arguments list. We will develop action steps 
to fill in the user information, fill in user responsibilities, and save the form after inputting the data. This can be developed by using pre-built action libraries like enter, type, click, or calling other user-defined actions such as fill responsibility to fill data into the form. The hash sign signals to test architect that this is an expression, so test architect should retrieve the value of this argument called after the hash sign. As a reminder, the arguments user description, effective dates from, effective dates to, etc. are defined at the beginning of the action, add new user. After inputting values in the forms, the test will automatically click the save button. We now go back to the test module and call the action add new user that we just developed and fill in the values for the fields of the new user form. To execute this test, click the execute button on the toolbar to bring up the executed test dialog. Unselect other test cases leaving only test case ID T303 as the only selected case, then click the execute button. When Test Architect executes the test case, we can see details of the test module name and test case ID. Actions are being executed in the indicator dialog at the bottom right corner of the screen. The test results will be generated when the execution is completed. Thank you for watching the demo of Test Architect with us. I hope you learned about how Test Architect works with Oracle EBS Suite. Contact us today to learn how Test Architect can speed up your Oracle application testing.